company recently opened a big renovated facility in a historic part of Indianapolis's east side. Not only do they use cutting edge technology, but as News 8's David Williams found out, part of their mission is to uplift and improve the community. They're called Uplift Produce. They grow, harvest, and package these leafy greens right here in this new 60,000 square foot facility. These pinkish purple lights may look futuristic, but they play an important role. This is an indoor farm. We say that we're fresh to market in hours, and the reason for that is, is that we actually harvest, pack, and ship uh, within the matter of a few hours into the distribution channels. Housed at the historic PR Mallory campus inside the bunker building, they grow and package a variety of leafy solid greens for retail sale. Depending on the product, they grow from seed to finish in 14 to 21 days. 100% controlled environment, um, so we're controlling the CO2, the humidity, and the temperature to be exactly where, at the set points that the plant needs. This is a joint venture with a Dutch company called Plant Lab. The first product launched out of here in October 2020. They're committed to uplifting the community. The Englewood Community Development Corporation is an ownership partner. But it's working well here in Indianapolis to have that partnership, meaning that every dollar that's ever made here, a portion of those go directly right back into the community. They've got eight employees right now. Uplift Produce donates about 150 pounds of food a week to places like Second Helpings, Hunger Relief, and the Cafe Padachu Foundation. This area is in the midst of revitalization. Everything we do is really centered around how do we uplift people and the, the whole community support and really the partnership with Inglewood and the work that the folks at the Inglewood Community Development Corporation are doing here in the community. We're really just trying to equip them to continue to do the work that they do. Arnold says he feels called to do this work. Not only do they want to feed people, but also help this area. Our desire is, is that people would be able to just uh, live, work, and play in this neighborhood and, and be able to come you know, and directly walk in to work and, and never have to get in a car. Arnold tells me there are plans to expand the facility even more by the end of this year and bring an additional 20 jobs to Indianapolis. I'm David Williams, Wish TV, wishtv.com, and follow us on Facebook.